guys, Marco here. Welcome back to another lesson. Today we're going to talk about the blues. I'm going to show you this awesome bluesy riff. Now, what's a riff? The riff is a musical idea which is repeated throughout the music. It could be a set of chords, a short melody, a short pattern, which is repeated over and over. So you kind of get used to it and it becomes part of the song, becomes the song itself. So we're going to have a look at this uh, blues in E. It's really, really cool to play and hopefully not too difficult. Now you can get the tab if you need one and you can support this channel. Just check my Patreon page. Remember guys that when you become a patron, you're not only getting all these tabs and additional courses, but you also support this channel and you're part of the success of this channel. So thank you so much for all of you who support me there. Now let's have a look at these blues. We're gonna start with the first chord, the E chord. Now the first part of the riff sounds like this. So we have two scales, the E major scale and the E minor pentatonic scale played uh, on the second part. So we can kind of break down this riff in two different sections. The first one played with the major scale and the second one played with the minor pentatonic. So it sounds like this. You have the low E string open twice and then the symmetrical phrase on fret two and four, we're gonna play it on the low E string, two and four with a hammer on, and two and four on the A string with a hammer on. And we finish with the uh, second fret on the D string, so. I'm also playing a uh, thumb slap always on the second count, so it's one, two. You can play everything with the thumb if you want, even though I always play with thumb and index, so. Now the second section is played with the minor pentatonic, so we're gonna play the bass note again. And then. So I'm playing the um, fret five and two on the D string. And then fret five on the A string and fret two on the D string, so. And then we repeat the same phrase. So this is the riff on the E chord. Pretty bluesy and you want to memorize the rhythm and the contour, meaning the shape of the riff because we're going to repeat it on the next chord, the A chord. Now for the A chord we're going to play the riff like this. So as you can see, it's slightly different rhythmically and also the notes. We're playing fewer notes. And it's a cool thing, you never kind of want to repeat the same thing uh, over a different chord, you kind of want to play a slightly different variation. So this is how we play the riff, just the same thing, A string twice, and then a hammer on on two and four, a hammer on on two and four, and we finish on the fret number two on the D string. Now, minor pentatonic just two times, okay? On the D string, fret number five, and D fret number two. So when you put it together, it sounds like this. And we go back to the E chord. Now, the E chord is slightly different here because we're leading into the last chord, which is the B chord. So we're gonna play the E just like we learned it at the beginning, so. We're gonna go all the way up to the uh, D string for number two, and then we're gonna play the E string open, and the thumb slap, so. Now, after the thumb slap, we are leading into the last chord, which is the B chord. And we're gonna play it like this. You wanna play the last note on the, on the fret two, the D string, and then the bass note and the thumb slap. Then we're gonna have, so the fret two on the D string, thumb slap and fret four on the D string. And we finally play this B chord, which is just two strings. So we have, 
So you want to put down fret 2 and fret 4 on D and A, so on A and D string, a power chord. And you play 5, 4, 5, sorry, 5, 4, 5, 5, 4. Thumb slap, and you go up one fret, and you play this C power chord together. Then the D string, and you go back. So it sounds like this. And you go back to the same riff here on the A string fret number two and four with the hammer on and the uh, fret number two on the D string. Now we go back to the E chord. We're almost done with the structure with the first part of the riff. So bass note and the D string again, and then the last riff. And we finish with the B7, which is a pretty cool chord. Uh, starting on the A string, you have two, one, two, open, and two. And you wanna just strum this chord with the thumb, don't strum it too fast, just be rhythmic. And that's it. So this is the very first part of the riff. Now we're gonna add a short melody. So make sure that you practice this slowly and then add the melody when you feel ready. Now guys, we learn the structure, we learn the riff, we learn the chords. We're gonna add uh, like a short melody just to make it a little bit more fun to play. We're gonna keep everything the same. We're just gonna add a short melody. Now for the E chord, we're gonna play like this. So we play the melody on the B string fret, B string open, fret number three, and the E string open. And then we start with the riff. So the last chord you played uh, was the B7. And then you have the phrase. So B string open, three, and E string open. And then you play the riff. Now, rather than just play the phrase, here, we're gonna transpose this phrase one octave higher and we're gonna play it on the E string for number three, open, and uh, B string open, and fret five on the B string sliding from fret three. Same riff. Now, at the end of the, uh, the E chord, we're gonna play the same phrase. So the B string open, fret three and the E string open, and we play the A. Now on the A, the phrase is better simple, just the uh, E string fret number three, twice, and the E string open. Then we go back to the E. Now, after we play the E, we're gonna be playing the B chord, slightly different though. Uh, we're gonna play the E string open, and the E string fret number two, we're gonna put down the B7. So I'm playing the E string fret number two and then the bass note, fret five, and then G and E string. Bass note twice more and then the G and the E string again. Up, down. Back to the E. And then we finish with this bluesy pentatonic phrase. Uh, so once you're done with the B7, we're gonna play the same phrase. Open three, open. And then the E major riff. All the way to the D string. And then we have the low E string open. And we jump all the way to the top E string for number 12. 10 and the B string fret number 12. You can play the fret 12 starting from fret 10 with a quick hammer on. Then we slide back to the fret number five and three and the G string fret number four. And slide all the way up to the fret number nine, so.
finish with this beautiful E7 sharp 9, which is the Hendrix chord. Just open, 7, 6, 7, 8, and open. So that's it, guys. This is how you can add more color to the riff, you know, just a short melody. Beautiful to play, really cool. You can make it even more rhythmic. Um, in fact, at the beginning of the video, in the example, the musical example I was playing, I actually added a strum. So it could be like... So you can add the strum on each second count of each bar. So one, two, one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on, so on. So every second count you can actually add a strum, but you can keep it simple. Hopefully you're gonna like this lesson guys. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video and I'll see you next time for another cool guitar lesson. Enjoy this lesson. Keep playing, keep practicing and I'll see you soon.